Hey guys, let's play Dark Wizard. So this is a tactical RPG released in 1994 by Sega for the Sega CD. So it's a Sega CD exclusive. Um, yeah, it's not very well known. Um, and uh, that's part of the reason is just because it's on Sega CD. And uh, yeah, I haven't played it yet. I uh, just heard about it. So let's check it out here. New game. I'm always a fan of tactical RPGs, especially from this era. I love the... Uh, Actually, I love Sega CD. Sega CD is a really underrated system. Uh, there's a lot of great gems on that system. So, yeah, choose a ruler, okay. Prince Armor Knight, who is 18 years old, Prince of Shishir Kingdom. Uh, Cavalry Leader Robin, 22 years old, most skilled horse woman in the Holy Army. Or the Puppet Master Amon, age unknown, vampire with fans of his own. Sorcerer's Crystal, 22 years old, seeks vengeance. Oh, okay, I'm going with the sexy girl here, Sorcerer's Crystal. With her. Uh, normal or easy? <laughs> okay, let's go with normal, I guess. Okay. There are those oh, I love the uh, protected by the graphics from this era. It's great. Uh, the Sega CD actually has a lot of great um, 2D games as well. Like most people think of the S and D games when they think of Sega CD, but. Uh, there are a lot of great uh, 2D games on Sega CD too, not just the FMV stuff. The Holy Warrior, hailed for his swordsmanship, are here for this purpose. The because it's a CD format, you get these uh, to great animations the as well. Kimberly, the Which I think is the way that Sega CD should have been utilized. At the hands not for those FMV video games, like Night Trap, but it should have been used for stuff like this, like putting a full motion video that's like animations instead. Yeah, not the live almost in video stuff, but um, yeah, just putting like opening cutscenes like this, <laughs> animations, that's a great use of, of the CD format, I think. Yeah, it's kind of too bad Sega CD had too many of these FMV games that kind of turn people off. B movie type of games, uh, like Night Trap, when uh, I think that uh, could have been usually utilized a lot better, like in this game. Sister. I will now search for the legendary dark sword Traeger, which I have been told will cut down the With, good uh, yeah, voice acting and, like animations. However, that's how CD should have been used. However, if I have not returned by the promised date, you must go on without me. The opportunity to strike at armor will be limited. Man, I love 90s but anime. When this time arrives, the art style so, so good. I like our 90s anime better than than today's anime, modern anime. 90s anime just feels like more raw, more detailed, Marcus. not as clean looking as Marcus. today's anime. The time has come. I must go. And the anime uh, here actually reminds me of Alice. It's another great, uh, great uh, game that's uh, drawn kind of like this. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of Alice's art style. It's always good. I love the art style of Alice as well. These early '90s um, the type of animation. Hold, who are you? What are you? How did you get in here? I am here to fulfill the vengeance of the royal priestess Kimberly. What are you talking about? What? Die, you pig! Oh. Kamehameha. This is Kimberly's revenge. Die, Armor the Eighth! <gasps> what revenge? What the hell are you talking about? I didn't kill any royal priestess! What? What? Uh, uh. There is no, no time for this! Ha! Oh. Kimberly, I have avenged you. We shall see about that. Belenese! I congratulate you on the avenging of your sister's death. However, the one who killed your sister was not armor. <gasps> what? Belenese, I... It was I. What? What? This king was a stubborn one. I dispatched a demon to you two and made you think that Kimberly was killed by the king. 
things. Personally, I had expected the warrior Marcus to have killed the king, rather than you, you weak sorceress. You! <laughs> Get angry! Your anger will turn to great evil. A power which I can use, because you have sold your soul to the demon. Your hatred will serve me well. You bastard! I will never uh. serve the one who killed my sister! Villainies! I shall never forgive you! Trail words. I shall... I will... kill you! <laughs> this is good. You will now have the opportunity to taste the fate of those who dared go against me! <laughs> Quentin. King is gone. Okay, so this is a tactical RPG. So um, you have grid here. And uh, yeah, you try to move them, except who are we attacking here? Where is the enemy? I'm trying to find the enemy. Oh, they're all the way down here. That's a long ways away. Okay. Oh my god, this is a. <laughs> wow. Very old school. In terms of how you're moving. I think at this time they're still uh, experimenting with a lot of tactical RPGs. This is like in the era of, uh, yeah, Fire, the early Fire Emblem games and Shining Force. Those were some of the early uh, tactical RPGs at this time. And they're still kind of experimenting with what's the best way to uh, do this. And I mean, nowadays, like, kind of have an idea how to do tactical games. It's either in the Fire Emblem style or the Final Fantasy style, Final Fantasy Tactics style. But uh, yeah, this time it's um, people with like a lot of companies are just experimenting with different ways of doing the tactic part vision. So yeah, Let's see party. Okay, don't you look at that. And turn. Of course, it's turn based because it's tactical. Yeah, the uh, sprites are so small. And what's more, the map is huge. It's going to take forever just to do a single battle here. To, to uh, finish a single map might take a while because you've got big, small characters on a big map. So, Wow, I can, I can even see the income from my city. I wonder if I can take over different castles in that case. Because I can see, like, this, my city has income. Which must be used for something, right? Is it used for building units? Maybe the income is used for building units or something. Oh, okay. We can just travel over the mountains, so I don't think about that. You just travel over the mountains, yeah. 
Okay. Um... Actually, he's a healer, right? So probably should be back here then. I only got four guys, and they got like so many guys. Heartbeat. 23 points, counter attacks, miss the attack. Okay, you don't see any attack animations, unfortunately. No attack animations. That's a kind of a downgrade from Fire Emblem and Shining Force. guys with just four guys. I guess I put, should have put it on easy difficulty, right? Normal difficulty from a 90s game is a different level. Yeah, because uh, older games are always tougher, right? That means normal difficulty is actually hard difficulty, basically. Yeah, normal difficulty is basically hard because this is an old school game. Old school games are always harder. Burn you up. 33 damage. Okay, dead. Oh, he's gone. He just lifts off the screen like that. Okay. Hellfire. Whoa. 61 damage. Oh, not dead yet. A chimera. That's a tough chimera. Yeah, he just lifts off the screen, that's funny. Just lifts off the screen just like that. One damage. 65. Go away, you skeleton. Not worthy. Not worthy. I guess I feel myself. Sixty six. And we'll finish him off. What? Still didn't die. Alright, we we'll finish him off. Oh, 
point of damage. Plus no point. Missed. How dare you miss? Okay. Killed myself. I think I still need more kills though. Stupid parking. Oh, I wasted that turn. Another harpy. There are so many harpies. They keep creating them, I think. I keep creating those stupid harpies. Okay, I gotta kill this uh, priest. Whoa, 30 damage. Still not dead. This guy's tough. This guy's tough. Alright. Fine, he's dead. The level increased. It's funny they just fly off the map like they're like um, going to heaven or something. So, fly off the map like they're going to heaven. Didn't actually do that, but yeah, okay. It's a day-night cycle too, because now it's like night time. Doesn't even tell you how many hit points it restores, which is kind of annoying. It just says hit points are restored. Okay, it doesn't tell you how much. I have to check the HP every time. Man, they keep making harpies. Do they have an unlimited supply of harpies? I think they're just making them. I think they're just making those harpies somehow. Yeah, because they keep. Yeah, they keep creating them. That's great. That's insane. They keep creating those harpies. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They just keep creating those harpies, and I can't even do anything else, because I just end up attacking his harpies every time. This is the first battle of the game. It's already taken this long. The, the map is huge, and they keep making guys. The map is huge, and they keep making guys, damn it. I have to keep killing. Man, can't do anything, and now it's sunset time too. Yeah, they keep making these stupid guys. It's never ending. No, mage died. No way. No, I lost one of my guys. Shit, he just keeps making those guys. How can I keep def I can defeat them if you just keep making those guys? It's so annoying.
right beside, okay. No, oh, I can't believe I lost my mage. Damn it. Oh, okay. Three guys. There's no way. No, I have three guys and I can't even defeat the one heart one harpy anymore. I need the mage. I need the mage, because I only got three guys left. Shit. Oh my god, this is insane. Literally, I don't even have a chance to move. Because they, they just keep creating these harpies. It's ridiculous. It's the first, the first fight of the game. Jesus, have mercy. The first fight of the game, they already have the ability to, to create infinite guys. <laughs> oh my god. First fight of the game. Missed. Oh my god, of course you missed. Oh. Cure him. Oh, what the heck? I killed my own guy with that? That's bullshit. I killed my own guy with that attack. Apparently he has friendly fire. Oh my god. This game has freaking friendly fire. My attacks damage my own allies. That's so stupid. So I, when I use that attack, I kill my own ally. That's so stupid. I can't believe this game has friendly fire. That's horrible. Well, I'm definitely gonna die now, because, yeah. Game is friendly fire. Um. Jesus. Mega Rest, Hellfire. The, stu the really stupid thing is I had no idea- Ooh, 123 damage. Damn, that's good. The stupid thing is I had no idea that that was going to hit my priest. Like, it was only targeting one guy, right? The, the harpy, so I thought that was okay. I had no idea that it was going to target the, the priest. No idea. I can't even beat the first fight of the game. They just literally keep making noise. It's ridiculous. I think at some point I'm just gonna have to move without fighting. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm just gonna have to move without fighting. Because, yeah. If I just keep fighting them, there's no way I can ever move. Because they'll just keep coming up with guys and guys and guys, right? Yeah, otherwise there's no way I can ever get to the enemy base, because... Like, yeah, it'll just keep coming out with guys and guys and guys, and... Okay, Crystal. Crystal's gonna be the only one left, because she's the only one that can actually withstand all this damage. Swap soul, I can have an attack like that. Hmm. Oh, he has no. Yeah, I'm gonna die. That guy's gonna die. Because I don't have my priest anymore, so I have no healing. So that fighter's gonna die eventually. Um, 
Yeah, let's see. I'll be here. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> no way. Now everyone's gonna go after Crystal. God, are you serious? Okay, now this is where I need to use something like um, Vortex, right? Yeah, that's why I need to use something like that. Okay, so this one does area damage and clear all those guys out. There we go. Get out of my face. 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 <laughs> Take that. Yeah, that's how I have to kill four harpies at once. Oh, crystal's a beast. Just kill four harpies at once. I'll fire this time. Oh, 91 points of damage. That's good. Yeah, get out of my face. Yep, you go back up. You go back up. And you go back up. Just killed another four harpies. <laughs> what a beast. You just like eliminated four harpies and another four harpies. Man, Crystal's a beast. Dragon. Oh my god, okay, that's a dragon. I thought it was a chimera. It's actually a dragon. Okay. Let's see here. What, what can we do here? Let's do another, uh... Actually... Can we move up? Yeah, let's move up. Okay. Dragons actually do a decent amount of damage right? here. The Harpies might not do too much, but now they're creating dragons. What the heck? Oh, what the heck? I can target that far away. Shit. Teleported. Okay. Shit, I kinda wanted to use it here. I'll we'll just use Hellfire next time. Still too powerful still. Dragons are too powerful. Oh I might die here. Dragons are just too powerful. Oh that dragon is huge. Just he just keeps making dragons now. Look at this shit. He's not even making harpies anymore, he's just making dragons non-stop. What kind of BS is that? Meanwhile, what can I do? What can I even do here? How come I can't make guys? Oh, 
How come I can't make guys? I haven't seen a way that I could. I mean, I click on the this one. Nope, it just brings me back here. How come he he can the enemy can make guys, but I can't? What the heck's up with that? Oh my god. We're gonna do here. Mass heal. I heal myself. I don't think that did much, right? No, that didn't even heal me. That didn't even heal me, what the heck? I'm still at 37 health. That's BS. That didn't even heal myself. Mass heal is supposed to heal myself. Or maybe that only heals my allies, doesn't heal myself. Okay. Well, that sucks then. But it doesn't matter, um, because I was gonna die anyways, because... The enemy is just like making dragons and then like non-stop. <laughs> oh my god, the first level is so hard. First, even the first level is so hard. Oh my god, okay, that's Dark Wizard, guys. Um, I mean, you guys have seen that combat, right? Like, okay, first of all, um, the combat's like clunky because, well, yeah, the map is big and the character is small, which means that uh, no matter what, it's going to be a long fight. And, um, and I just find everything's kind of clunky. The movement's clunky and the uh, interface is clunky to use. Uh, I know this is an early tactical RPG, but Shiny Force and the early Fire Emblem games are better than this still. Uh, especially Shiny Force. Like, you have, on Sega CD, you have a uh, Shiny Force CD, which was, I think, way better than this in terms of execution. So, uh, you know, I'd, I'd much rather play Shiny Force CD. And, yeah, like, it, uh, I know it's, it's on normal mode, which I know on older games is basically hard mode. But, uh, come on, man. That's ridiculous. That's like the that that level of difficulty is like uh the Dungeons and Dragons gold box games. I mean <laughs> that level of difficulty is ridiculous. Like I only have four guys and the enemy has an unlimited supply of dragons and harpies. Like what am I supposed to do against that? The first battle of the game, the enemy had like near basically unlimited harpies and dragons. It just kept creating them and creating them. Like what the heck am I supposed to do against that with only four guys? Right? Plus, I have friendly fire. I can kill my own, like, allies, apparently, with my attacks, if I'm not careful. So I killed my own priest, I didn't even know, like, I didn't even know, like, uh, that was possible. So, yeah, that was, that's pretty brutal. Anyways, um, I do like the animation in this game, though. Uh, the opening cutscene like this is pretty cool, the animation. I do like that animation, uh, in the art style. But, uh, man, this game is brutal difficulty. Like, first battle, first battle of the game, and, uh, bam. <laughs> Just creating unlimited dragons and, uh, unlimited harpies, which is pretty good. The Dark Isle, where you shall be sealed off from the outside world. As one of my head apprentices, yeah, anyways, an guys, uh, Dark Wizard, set. um, you will it's an interesting game because it's, like, kind of, like, solitude. not very well known, and, yeah, it's not very well known, um, but if you guys are interested in tactical RPGs, it's just interesting to see, right, that it, uh, that it, it exists, and only for Sega CD. So, it's interesting, uh, especially for the animation, I'd say. That much is pretty interesting, but, uh, man, the game's brutal difficulty. I don't know what to do about that one. Uh, you can put on easier mode, of course. Um, but yeah, on normal mode, I'm not sure how you're supposed to beat it. <laughs> I mean, unlimited dragons and harpies from the other side, you only have four guys. That's pretty BS. So, yep, yeah, anyways, Dark Wizard, guys. Um, an interesting tactical RPG for the Sega CD. Uh, yeah, again, pretty brutal in difficulty, but I do like the, uh, the animations in it. I think that's probably the things I like about it so far. But the actual interface and gameplay is a bit clunky, and, uh, and yeah, it's difficult. So, anyways, uh, yeah, if I have, probably I can play on easy difficulty, but, um, I don't know. I just feel like I want to kind of experience the original difficulty, but, uh, but yeah, it's, it's pretty brutal. Anyways guys, Dark Wizard, thanks for watching. Interesting task part between the second season.